Hey guys, it's Megan. So, um, McJugger Nuggets was talking about this thing called Red Dawn. And it's about this subscription service that you can get to YouTube, which basically means you pay a fee every month to watch any videos and programs without any type of advertising on it. Now, that's good and bad. You know, if you have your videos and they're monetized, meaning that whenever there's an ad, the person who made the video gets something from it, the person who is putting the ad on it gets something from it. It's, it depends on your clicks or your views or something. Anyways, um, if you sign up for this service, that means the creators aren't getting anything for that month because the service is going to be for free. I don't fully understand it, and I don't know what the term Red Dawn is talking about, but all I know is um, currently I do not receive, none of my videos gives me any money, and I'm not monetized at this time. Now, <coughs> you don't have to sign up for it to watch my videos, I do not believe. Um, since I don't put ads on mine, if some other company does, it's not me because I haven't done that yet. Um, I've applied to, to put ads on my stuff just so that I can um, I can make a little bit of money doing my videos, but so far it hasn't been so good on that. So instead of dwelling on it, I've just continued to create videos for you guys and... Excuse me. Um... I'm not fully comprehending why they're having this service because honestly <coughs> to me I would think the creators would get less money doing it this way with a flat fee of ten dollars a month than they would get if you just had the ads you know it is a legitimate job you are entertaining people you want the people that are on your soap operas, that are on your TV shows, you want them to get paid for entertaining you, correct? So the people that entertain you online should be getting something for it too. I mean, yes, my videos are uploaded and they're free, and I do not believe I should. You guys should have to, um, you know, pay a certain amount of money a month to watch all these videos, but. I use YouTube daily. I'm constantly watching stuff on there. And I don't want to have to sign up for a service where I have to pay a fee. I already have three other services where I pay a fee um, a month. Uh, Netflix, Hulu, and CBS All Access. And the only reason I've signed up for the CBS All Access was because some shows that I like to watch, you can catch them on there the day after or even after midnight the same... Well... It's like three hours after it airs, I think it is, because of Pacific Time and, sun and um, Eastern Time. So, during the summer, Big Brother was awesome to watch on there. I would watch them whenever they'd show up on there. <coughs> um, I watch Bold and the Beautiful, Young and the Restless, uh, Big Bang. I like this show called Code Black. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh... I want to check out Supergirl, and I mean, I'm sure there's others that'll come and go, but a lot of times, if you don't pay for that service, you have to wait eight, I think it's eight days after the episode's aired, in order to watch it for free. Well, if you're trying to watch something and you missed a show, but you're going to see it next week's, it won't make sense if you watch it out of order, and then you have to wait another eight days to watch the one that just came on once you get to watch the one before it, so it's frustrating. The only stuff that you don't have to do that for is like, um, Young and the Restless, Bold and the Beautiful. I don't know if the talk's like that, but the stuff that the airs daily, you know, they don't, they don't make you wait eight days because I'd be so lost like that. Um, usually those come on that evening. Some, some point during that day, you can watch them later. Um, but a lot of times I watch them over on YouTube, at least <coughs> the Young and the Restless I do. Now, um, if you look hard enough and you put the date in, Canada gets it a day earlier than we do. So, depending on who you're subscribed to, you can actually watch it a day earlier. So, like, I saw today's tonight, but I could have watched today's yesterday. 
um, meaning that I can watch uh, Wednesday's episode if it's up now, and then I can watch Friday's episode on Thursday, and then on Friday or Saturday I can usually catch Monday's episode because of it being the weekend. So, I mean, I think that's pretty interesting. It, sometimes I watch it a day ahead, sometimes I have a couple days worth and I have to watch them. But, you know, it just depends on the week. So, um, I wasn't aware that this week, I was wondering why some shows haven't been coming on or why, you know, they're not listed as being new episodes and the World Series started and the Royals are against um... I can't remember I think it's the Royals and tonight the game went on past 12 or 13 innings and I know I want to say the Royals won but I could be wrong that's game one of the series and if I remember the, correctly the World Series is either five games or seven games and since Fox is airing it that means Anything that I watched that was on Fox won't be able to watch it except for on the nights when the sh when the episodes or when the game's not being played. So I wasn't aware until um, I happened to see it through Twitter that the first game was on tonight, and I actually was going to sit and watch it even though my team's not playing. Um, my Red Sox are not in the World Series this year. I remember a couple years, a few years back. I did get to watch them in there. And what made me mad was, okay, we had an awesome team together, and it's like as soon as the season was over and they won, all the all the good ones and all the, the big hitters and everything dismantled and went to other teams. It's like, you know, you're looking at that going, he doesn't look right in that uniform. He doesn't look right in that color. Um... But the one that's loyal is Big Poppy, and he, I think, hit his 500th or 5,000th, I think his 500th home run this past season. I think it was, I don't, it might have been postseason, but I think it was the end of the season, and I missed it because I didn't know, I knew he was getting close, but I wasn't expecting him to do with it that night, and I don't know. It was interesting. So... I'll probably try to catch some of the World Series. I don't know how much I'll get to watch of it, but um, Fox doesn't always come in the clearest here. So we just watch it just for fun. Um, let's see. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if... Um, I told anybody or anything, but, um, I got married in January, and the guys don't have this issue, unless they, ch they choose to do it, but, you know, we have the option as a woman to keep our last name or change it to the husband's name. Well, I was already going to change mine to my married name. Well, this was my second marriage, so I got married before, and I had one last name. Well, it took me until my birthday to get it completely changed, and I got my new ID in the mail, and while I'm not exactly happy with my picture, it's better than the one before it, um, and it expires exactly one year after I got it, so that means next year I have to you know get a new one but at this point I think I can do it all online and not have to go in person so I'm happy about that um let's see it's hard when you're trying to get your um your stuff switched over I mean, I went one day, I had some doctor's appointments, and there was some time in between, and I went to the Social Security office and I changed it, and then I went by the DMV on my birthday and changed it, and luckily we weren't in there forever, so that was good, um, but, yeah, I'm just, um, I'm legally now by my new married name, and 
when I try to look me up on the internet, I'm like a ghost. It's hard to find. You have to go through several and you'll eventually find me, so... Uh, excuse me, I just got an itchy nose. Anyways, um, like, fave, share, subscribe, Megan Shepherd 81 Megan Shepherd 81 at gmail.com. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.